outer perimeter is still insecure, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. This better be worth it. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, and mine, I don't have time for you right now. The settlers want to At their own Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Hmm. Initia Dorsey is too trusting. But I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? All links in the chain, bound. Wanting isn't enough, and not everyone who shows up looking to join our order is worthy of becoming an initiate. Normally, I'd stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy, but if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas, asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid, or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Interview the petitioners, find out what they want, and report back to me. What do I get to go out and prove my worth? Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. This place goes sour, and we're all in for it. Speak? Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Knight Shin want to know? I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Thank you. Be well. Hey! Yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns? You don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lane. What's your deal? Shin? He the scary guy with the stick up his butt? All right, shoot. Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now, all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Hey, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, 
Go get him, Tiger. I imagine. Well, now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas. I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on them. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? The efficiency of the Brotherhood response to A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. For the cause, they said. Yeah. Like that don't make them raiders, too. Well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra, and I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these <laughs> steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care, too. Go home. Let us take care of things. You better have something useful to say to me. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right, keep it cool, Sean. So, what's he gotta say to me? The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now, I'm a peaceful man. I really am. It sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else maybe, I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Hey, uh, listen, uh, thanks. I just needed someone to listen and take me seriously. I hope you can convince them. I can do more than just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol day and night? Have you finished the task I gave you? Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Greetings, civilian. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. The scorched, the raider... That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. Enough about that. What's next? The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. Then, he can peddle his snake oil somewhere else. The wasteland is full of people claiming to be scientists or doctors. They are rarely either, and usually cause more harm than good. Next report. No, we are not arms dealers. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. Moving on.
Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. That's everything. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself well, useful Atlas for the Brotherhood. The you need to lose and those soft civilian well. instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. So I grant us. you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. Be vigilant, outsider. This is a security office, not a social club. If you're not finished, get back to work. Everything makes sense now. This is my place, my mission. We're building something big here. Don't get left behind. you were here too. Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Oh, a prospective initiate. The Knight Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? Didn't even have to think about it, did you? Let me give you a quick rundown of the mission before we start. Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Any questions before we start? Great! Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Hope those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. But enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up.
glad that's over with. This must be Dr. Hammond, Atlas's lead scientist. We recovered some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. This looks like what we need. one. a document. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to... Show you any of this. Well, Night Shin did send you, so I guess I can trust you with a little information. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. I did ask you to help, after all. It's only fair you're prepared for what you might find. Now, Let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after.
action. Let's go. All right, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? Oh, misaligned. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? If you consider that working as intended, then sorry. But I have to question your competency there. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? If you can, you earn my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do. Thought of it. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine core?
Doesn't sound good. Uh, not a chance to play. Justice will be administered swiftly and fairly. Warning. Hostiles in area. Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this Ultrasight? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but... To think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? <laughs> Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate. And soon. Here. Take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this Ultrasight battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin. <laughs>